Uh, use Kenzo. Tempting, but no. Believe it or not, he's not really my type. Besides, I'm just a tiny squirt and a really annoying motherfucker. <laughs> Dude's probably got better options than me, you know. Well, we're, we're not committing, we're just using him. <laughs> it's always time for a few free throws. I take a match at 10 free throws. I like to do them in sets of 10 because it gives me a little chunk size goal. Like if I hit 7, that's pretty good. 6 is about average. I've hit 10 out of 10 5 times in my life, but each time it felt amazing. Another reason why I like dividing it up this way, it gives me a little high when I do well. And this time, 8. Not bad at all. That miss at the beginning screwed me up a little, otherwise I might have done even better. Good job. Let's use the stage. I'm not really the acting type. Just not my style. Besides, there's nothing going on up there right now. Unless you're acting disinterested in a guy you like, then you're a pro at it, eh? And how exactly do you want me to use or take the ceiling? No, really, I'll wait. <laughs> no, we got options, too. So seriously, tell me your wisdom, oh great internal voice that commands my will. Let's see, okay, wait, I gotta climb up there. Like, use it to to protect yourself from the elements, as the ceiling does. So I can put it in your room. Okay, you're right, that was too. I'm sure we can steal all of these, right? Climb up there. Oh, sure, I'll get right on that. There are faster ways to kill me if you don't like me, by the way. And once that wouldn't end with a huge blood splatter on the basketball court to clean up. So, no, I'm not climbing up there. I don't even think I could if I wanted to anyway. Yeah, if you wanted to kill Noski, just like pink eyes. Uh, uh, it's, uh... Let's see the other options. Protect yourself from the elements. Sure thing, Chief. Getting right on that. Boom! Done! It was really easy. Since, you know, I was doing that already. Mm-hmm. But now you're doing it consciously. Mm-hmm. Put it in your inventory. Okay, I respect the gaming instincts. That's probably what I try to do myself. But no, it's pretty, uh, stationary. And it wouldn't fit in my inventory. But I love the hustle. Keep it rolling. Yeah. So, we, we are... Okay, right, we're stupid. Yup, but at least you admit it. That puts you ahead of most people. Yeah. These don't open. And even if they did, it'd be kind of dangerous to have them open with such a long fall down there. There's no screen or guard or anything behind them. But I can look out them. And they give a nice view of the rest of the school and parts of the city. Ah, it's really bright out there right now, though. The sun's on this side. Better to look when the light is a little gentler. Will the light be gentler later when we take so long <laughs> doing all these options? No, I think we've used slash taken everything. Oh, one second, please. Okay. It's time to inv inventory the environment. Self-esteem, Kenzo. You are actually comparably popular with this hunk. Despite being short and having like one-tenth the athletic talent, there must be something appealing about your personality. He barely remembered your name, though. Uh, self-esteem, the basketball court. The, the court. You've put in a lot of work here, Natsuki. Spent time perfecting a skill. Putting in work like that is always worthwhile. And you should feel proud of yourself. Well, I mean, if you're going for a basketball career, I guess maybe it would be worthwhile. Well, no, I mean, there are other benefits, too, probably. You could totally be an actress. You're charismatic, have a strong voice. You just need to learn the whole acting thing. And you just said earlier that acting wasn't really your thing, so... I don't, I don't know. Wait, what did I choose? I just used steak again, didn't I? dum de dum Ceiling. I remember the day I spent trying to throw a ball up to hit the ceiling of this building when I was younger. Now I can do it super easily. Feels good. Yeah, I imagine a small child would have a difficult time doing that. In fact, I'm just a little surprised you don't have a difficult time doing that still. Look at them all scurrying around down there like ants. I am your queen! I see all! Okay, I should probably dial back the self-esteem just a little. I mean, we have been using it an awful lot today. Uh, let's stick Kenzo. Why do you want me to beat up poor old Kenzo? What has this poor lad done to deserve such a thrashing? Are you still sore about him and Sayori? Look, I, of all people, have the right to be mad about that. It wasn't his fault. And I have moved on with my life. And so should you. Yeah, you're right. That was when Sayori used Kenzo. Eh. We're gonna stick the basketball court. Life is great. There are so many choices you can make. 
I could choose, right now, to bang the stick against the core floor like a demented primate. I could do that. But see, there usually has to be a good reason to make choices. That's where I think you're getting hung up. Eh. Yes, the stick on the stage. It's probably too fragile to use in any kind of theatrical production. I think I'll hang on to it rather than making a weird anonymous donation. Mm hmm. Use the stick on the ceiling. Can you reach? It's a long stick, but it still doesn't come close to touching the ceiling here. You throw it, dummy. Eh. Use it on the windows. I tap the windows with the stick, testing for weak spots. Ah, yes. The whole window is made out of fragile glass. And they thought I wouldn't notice. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll key everything. Key Kenzo. He doesn't need the key. I said key him, not give them the key. Key. Court. What? No! I use this court all the time. I wouldn't want to damage it. Eh. Well, key the stage. The key doesn't fit any of the stuff backstage. And besides, none of that stuff is my business. Hmm. Pretty useless key. Key the ceiling. Sure, let me just fling this key I was entrusted with by a teacher up into the crazy puzzle ceiling. Doubtless that will earn me untold respect and gratitude. Yeah, they'll never find it again. It'll be great. Uh, windows. The windows don't have key type locks on them. Okay. Well, we've done enough here, I think. And we've unintentionally discovered another puzzle element. The gym shirt of MC that we do not know why we need, or who would possibly need it. Uh, we've done enough in here. Uh, we need to go to the other building now, I do believe. So, to the main courtyard first. Rye's still here! Yeah, and it's still oddly quiet. It's so weird! Why is it so quiet? Go to the older building! Alright, what can we look at in the regular hallway? The club room! I'm not telling them to peek through the top windows, but I can sneak a look through the doors. It looks like it always does. Monica's in there straightening desks or something. Okay, look at the bulletin boards. This one has like five posters for the lecture club on it. Which makes sense since it's right outside our room. There are also school flyers for various other clubs. Upcoming plays, offers of tutoring, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Look at the benches. Good lord, the benches truly do not ever stop. Yep. There are a few here. Some little extendy metal and wood ones along the inner part of the hallway. Sometimes people sit and talk and are in them between classes. Mm-hmm. Look at the windows. Ugh, the sun is so bright out there. This looks across to the science building across the courtyard. The sun is right in my eyes, though. Look at the sun. Oh, uh, look at the vending machines. Down at the very far end of the hallway, there are some vending machines. Me and those vending machines have a history. Back when things were really tight money-wise in the family, I used to scrape under them for change sometimes. When I was really hungry, I could get a snack from them. Fortunately, we're a little better off now. Mm-hmm. Let's look. We've looked at everything. Let's talk to no one. There's not really anyone here. Hey, Monica, you there? Yes, Natsuki, I'm in here. Can we talk about something? Sure, why don't you go in first? Yeah, we'll do that in our when we're good and ready. Look at the door. Use the door. Monica, can I come in? Yeah, that's cute. It's open. Good to know. Bulletin boards. There's not too much on here that it's interests me. Obviously, I don't need to be sold on the literature club. And I'm not interested in other activities, really, besides the ones I'm already in. I don't really have the time for anything more, anyway. Come to think of it, there is some empty space on here. It could maybe use more literature club flyers. Not that anyone beyond the people already in it are going to join. I mean, honestly, it's called the Literature Club. What sane high school student would join? Other than an uh, A uppity shut-in, a queen bee looking for solace, her cheery and supportive friend, and that friend's eternal crush. And whatever the hell I am. Yeah. Here's the bench. Feels nice. I spent a lot of time on these benches. See, there are some emotional times as well. Back when MC and Sayori weren't together yet, sometimes I would talk with them on these benches. And 
back during the week of the festival, the second time when Sayori was gone and I was really worried about Yuri, I came out here and stressed out. I have so many weird memories on these benches. Hmm. Use the windows. Just like most of the hallway windows, you can't open these. And you can't really do much with those low angle level windows. I'm not even sure why those are there. They provide additional light. They're frosted and you can't see clearly out of them. Maybe to just let an additional light, I guess. Yeah, there you go. You figured it out. You solved the mystery. Amazingly, I'm not hungry right now. Probably because I actually ate breakfast for once this morning. And I don't need this scrounge for money anymore. Thank goodness. Well, that's good. I believe we've used everything in here. Let's inventory the place. We gotta use the self-esteem on the club room. A lot of good memories here, along with some bad ones. But you got through it all. And you're still a strong, powerful woman. Hmm. Use self-esteem on the bulletin board. No matter how many people are in it, the literature club is a good place. It's cool nine minutes. It gives me a nice sense of belonging. Mm-hmm. Yes. Self esteem on the benches. Oh man, I actually feel really good looking at these. I might have helped people more on these benches than anywhere else in the world. So many long talks with friends. Hopefully I didn't screw them up too badly. But you said you just helped them. Eh. Windows. Reflection looking sharp. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, 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 done using and taking. We need to use self esteem on the vending machine. Those days are behind you, Natsuki. You don't need to scavenge anymore. That didn't happen to you because of anything you did wrong. Oh, I thought there was going to be more to that, but no, she just kind of finished off. Okay, that's fine. Stick them. Stick everything. Knocking is usually done with a closed fist where I'm from. Sorry if you use sticks wherever you're from. It sounds like a cool tradition, though. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that applied somewhere. It's a little too big to go onto the board and a little too heavy to pin, the, or pin things to the board. Not sure what to do with it otherwise. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Got a stick. The bench. I can't fit the stick on the bench. The benches are recessed into the walls and the stick is too long. Maybe if I lean it up against them. But I won't because I don't have any good goddamn reason to do any of this. I mean, you could slot the stick through these little thingies. Why would you do that? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean that would be useless? I don't really need to get anyone's attention on the other side. Only reason I can think of why I would do that. Mm hmm. Didn't stop you from testing the other windows. Yeah. Vending machine. The stick is too fragile to do anything with the vending machines. It would break if I hit it, and it would snap if I tried to loosen snacks with it. Well, yeah, you snap the stick first. And then you reach it up on in there, and you get your free snacks with the stick. <laughs> Alright, now I'll call the key to the club room door. It's not locked! And this isn't the right key! Huh. Understandable. I shouldn't just leave keys on bulletin boards for anyone to pick up, especially not a staff key that was lent to me. Mm-hmm. Yes, we understand you're very careful with the key. Key up the benches? Nah, me and these benches are old friends. Mm-hmm. Friends don't key friends. Easy for you to say you don't have to serve any of the detention I would have to, or had to do if I did this. Yeah, that's probably true. I would be more apprehensive to try any of these things if it wasn't a video game. I don't think I can steal snacks that way. Wrong key after all. Yeah, unfortunately the key is really only good for exactly one thing. Alright, where can we move from here? Okay, so this is where we came from. Wow, there's a lot of places this goes. Like, a lot. At least we know the Literature Club is finite. Let's go in here. Hi, Natsuki. Sup, Monica? Mm. Look at Monica. Yep, that's our beloved leader, all right. She looks especially happy today. I wonder if it's because I'm here. Or because you're here. I wonder if she knows. Like, how does that work in this environment? Probably best not to think about it too hard. It'd have been funny if she said something about that. Look at the chalkboard. It's blank right now. It always is when I come in here. I know there's a class that meets really early in here, but I have no idea what it is. <laughs> the chalkboards are always wiped down and everything's cleaned up by the time I get in here. They must have a really fastidious teacher. 
look at the desks. Your classic, horribly uncomfortable school desk chair thing. Over on the right, in the front rear, or front near the window, is your as usual desk. And on the left one row back is where MC and Siri like to sit together. Monica usually steals the teacher's desk. And my domain, of course, is always in the back you there. Yeah. Near the closet where your manga is. Closet. Ah, oh, yes, my grand empire. I can't quite tell from here, but it does look like my books are in their proper place where I can reach them. I thought the closet was locked. Not sure what it is about that closet I like so much. I guess I like the way it's contained and isolated, kind of its own little room. Gives me an inflated sense of importance and privacy, maybe. Mm-hmm. Calendars. Those calendars in the back are scrawled with a bunch of dates and school events and stuff. For some reason, I always feel a little uneasy when I look at the one on the right. Not sure why. <laughs> it's pretty normal. I know why. Whoop, no, we're not ready to move yet. Oh, we actually can't move to the closet. Still finite. Yeah. Look at the windows. The windows here open to the houses near the school and the street nearby. There are a lot of trees on the street. It's a pretty view. That's probably why Monica picked this room to have the club in. Or maybe she picked it because it's empty for most of the day. Or maybe for some obscure political student council reason. Who knows? Finger slipped. Ah. Uh, or I guess mouse slipped. Storage cabinet. There's a lot of storage cabinet here. I've seen it open, but it looks or it holds school supplies and stuff like that. It's one of those big rectangular metal jobs. Pretty ordinary. And yet, it's a locked container. And as we know, locked containers in games like these are always interesting. Oh, is that where we're supposed to use the, the king the key on? Or hmm, I might have conf conflated the closet with the cabinet. Also, I always considered that more of a locker, but I guess it, it works either way. Like Normally cabinets aren't made of metal, that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna say about that. We've looked at all this stuff. We need to talk to Monica. Hey Monica, let's chat real quick. Of course. Talk to her about herself. So how are you today, Madam President? Oh fine, Natsuki. You seem a little anxious about something. You're not usually anxious. Did I miss something? Is a meteor about to fall from the sky and kill us? No, nothing quite so dire. No, I've just lost the poem I was working on for club. I last had it in the girls' bathroom, but I looked in there and I didn't see it on the floor. I'm just trying to figure out if I should try to rewrite it from my memory or keep looking for it. Oh, is that all? Well, I'll let you know if I retrieve it using some weird elaborate item-based scheme. It's good that you're so genre aware. Stop breaking the fourth wall. You started it. Talk to her about him seeing. Hear anything from MC today? Yes, apparently you forgot to bring anything to write with to school today. Honestly, that boy is nearly as forgetful as his girlfriend sometimes. If they ever do have kids, they're going to leave the kids seat on the car's roof or something. Anyway, if you find an extra writing implement, you can use one. Roger that. That's why they're perfect for each other. Yeah, Siri. I'm a little worried about Siri today. She seems openly down or even sad. It's not like her to be so open with it. Usually the sadder she is, the more she hides it. Maybe that's a sign of progress then. She's strong enough to not have to hide her sadness in front of others. Maybe. Still worrisome. I'll look into it. I'm sure he'll be able to help. Yeah, probably. You seen Teach around? You mean Messina? Yes, Teach. Well, uh, yeah, I saw her while passing by her classroom. Come to think of it, she was talking to someone about losing something I remember. I wonder what she lost. I'll go find out. Hmm, we already found out. You seen Rye around? Who? You know, Rye. The shorter girl. Kinda quiet. Until you said kinda quiet, I would have thought it was you. Hilarious. Never mind, you clearly don't know this person, I guess. Kinda surprised she doesn't have some complicated problem for me to solve. Well, she's not in the large club, wherever she is. It's true. She disappeared from the menu. Uh, let's talk about Kenzo. Have you talked to Kenzo recently? Can't say that I have. Not since he was visiting the club. You don't know where he is- er, words. You don't know where he is today, do you? I haven't seen him. But I imagine you could find him in the gym at this hour. He's usually there, practicing. 
Thanks, Monica. No problem. All right, how about Yuri? So, have you heard Yuri's been feeling down? I hadn't heard it, but I did notice she's been emotional recently. More than usual. What's your plan? Why do I need to have a plan? Well, I just figured you'd have one. Everyone keeps assuming that. So? So what? So what's your plan? Ah! I don't have one! Apparently it's my job to come up with one, though. Yeah, I guess you should get on that. <laughs> Alright, Monica, I'm out of here. Peace! Take care! 